guys. The Fern Plus Duna Maxi Review. Now, this cage I've had for quite a few years. I've, I first got it for Maisie. I've got two of them, as you know. One was for Casper, which George is in. And uh, this one was Maisie's, now it's Arabella's. So I put some stuff in there. I've just cleaned it all out. Now I just want to show you the bad points first. Get them out of the way. So the first bad point is this. You get these ledges. Now these are a temptation for hamsters. Now Maisie just started chewing a bit on there when she went um, just a tiny bit. But I've smoothed in everything and Arabella's not touched it. Plus I block it off. But if you see what I mean, it goes all the way around. Plus with these, I don't like these ledges because it takes up some of the space. That space there is about an inch. And then you've got another inch at this side here. So that's two inches on that side and then another inch there and another inch there. So you're talking four inches and it's cut, it cuts space. So you're not getting, it should be 52 centimetres. But you're getting 50, which is fine. But they should really not put them ledges on. They serve no purpose whatsoever. No purpose. So, so that's the first thing to be aware of if you're thinking of getting this cage. That hamsters might go, uh, might chew on that. George has already started a little bit on his, but I've blocked it off now. And on this side, you've got, um, which I'll show you when I put the lid on. You get a bottle all, where you can put one bottle. And another one at this side. Now, again, it's murder having two bottle holes because it's all right if you want to move move it to another room and then take it around, but you've got to block it off because you because uh, it's it serves no purpose again. I mean, obviously it's designed for rabbits, so I don't know if you need two water bottles in for them, but it serves no purpose. So you have to block it off with something tall like the cabin. So again, consider that. I mean, I've I've got a, sh a little shelter um, screw in, and I was thinking of putting that on with some ladders going up. But again, be aware of that it's got two uh, water bottle holes, which one will have to have to be blocked off, unless you're not putting it up against the wall and you want to put two water bottles in, and that's perfect. So that's the bad points. The good points is the size. 100 centimetres, 52, but take away them, it's 50. So let's call it 50, floor space, 37 up, aye. So that's the good point. Easy to clean. It's got these squares, which I like the squares. That's why I like fur plastic cages, because the actual stuff doesn't slide. It's not as easy. So it sticks and molds in place where you want to put it. Not like the smooth cages where they're smooth and then the curfish is going all over the place, the wheel's going all over the place, just slides everywhere. <coughs> so that's another good point. The next point, good point, which I'll, um, which I'll show you in a minute when I put the lid on. But the next point is the height of it where you can get a big wheel in. So you can get a big wheel, 28 inch wheel. Get You can get cabins in. You could even attach your own shelving somehow if you've got the knowledge to do it you know like if you're good at diy <clears throat> or you can uh it's good for roadie pet as you know when i had Maisie, i, I had uh the roadie pet in that section the three point cabin and she loved it as you well know and put the food on the top so you could just endless things you can do with this so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to sort this out and then I've done all the base for you. And then I'm going to put the lid on. And then I'll go through the final good points with the lid on and everything. And catching a tick. Right guys, so the lid's on now. So I'll go, so I might as well give you a quick tour as well while we're at it. So first off, I'll go through the um, finishing off the review. So the water bottle all's there for the water. Now the other all at the back is there somewhere yeah there which i'll be getting some perplex and um blocking that off and making something nice there the lid 
is no need for meshing, perfectly fine for hamsters. You've got two holes there, so you've got the, uh, for the water bottle um, to attach. Then you've got, where is it now? Yeah, just see because it's so clear. You've got two holes here for the next one. Now, this is another bad point. You don't get these or anything to hold the bottle on. So you will have to figure out what you want to do. So, because I've got these from the old Duna Fun Large Cages, I've got about three or four of these. Then I have to use these. And, uh, yeah. So, that's that. And the lid is plastic, very strong, sturdy. And now that's the review done. So you've got the good and the bad points. Now <laughs> I wanted to take this out really, you know, change things around for her. And last month I did that. And she went ballistic. She trashed the cage, she was looking everywhere. I thought, what's the matter with her? She was wigging out, she was just flipping out. And she was really missing because she uses like a, a little toilet spot in there and she's got her house and she's got it's like her own little haven. So when I took this out, she was really objecting. I thought, oh, so because <laughs> I was going to put you know, them that's chew that I used to have for uh, one of them chews that I had for Maisie, it's like it used to stick out there. I was just going to block it off and um, put something nice there, like a roadie pet. So I thought within a few hours. I had to put everything back in for her, and I and it, I did it really nice as well. But she was just objecting. She went, nope, nope. <laughs> but everything else, I can do all this side. It doesn't bother her, and all this side. But take that out, and she will object. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, decide. I'm going to move things around. I'm going to move the wheel. Put the roadie pet there. It's only that little square one for dwarfs anyway, so it's not going to take up too much room. And then, um, so she'll have that to go inside and on top of. And um, so that'll be coming uh, in the next cage tour. So let's get this one done now out of the way. So she's got a wheel. She's got her house, which I haven't washed because um, I will be washing later tonight. I just don't want her freaking out if she sees everything new and... <laughs> She's got a lollipop, which I've stuck up, which is really funny. I just stuck up there like that. I've done it in George's as well. <laughs> stuck up like that for her to get out better. There's, she's got a corner of the cob. In there, she's got... She's got... What's in it? Right, so in here... There you go. She's got mineral chew, whimsy, pumpkin chew or beetroot chew. Or an apple chew, sorry. Yeah, apple. She's got a food and a little melon house. And then that just goes back on like so. Oops, let me just put this back on, guys. There you go. There she's got Casper's old milk carton house. And it used to be Rizabi's as well. She's got a little digging box, which will be removed soon when I open up that new item, which I'm going to show you. Because the new um, rosewood item is going to go there. So she's got a digging box. She's got... What's that one? Lava chew. Banana chew. A bridge. She's got... Hold on a minute. A ball. I should have done this without the lid on, actually. Sorry about that, guys. She's got... Another chew. She's got a pink log, which I've put... Quite a lot of bedding over the top and inside for her to go under. She's got her hamster tines, which she's had for ages and she just doesn't touch it. <laughs> Archie demolishes them, but she won't touch it. Well, I'll leave it in anyway. She's got a little chewy stick, an apple tree, a tree one, whatever they're called. She's got a edible log and she's got an aubergine chew. The bedding this month is I'm, is I'm using, finishing off some... Uh, KT that I've had for a long, long time. It's lovely and soft. I love this stuff. Wish pets at home would sell it. Sort of, um, what's it called now? 
yeah i've lost track then yeah so this this month is um i'm just using the kt clean and cozy eh? and uh yeah and i think that's it guys so we'll go and get her and uh we'll see what she thinks now everything's uh, the same except clean now so back in a tick <laughs> She's saying, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. If you're wondering where the light's gone, I've, um, I took it out because what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach, I'm going to attach some, um, what's it called? What are they called? Those, um, ties. Those ties. Clip ties. And, um, so then at least I know it's more secure because uh, I was a bit worried about the sticky pad that they fall off and it falls into there and then she chews it. So um, I took all three off, I took them all off each cage. Although to be honest I didn't have one on Archie's because I knew that I was going to get him his new cage so I waited. I just plonked it on top of his, I just plonked it on top on the outside. <laughs> but with, uh, I took Arabella's off and George's and uh, at the moment... I'll just put it on at night on the top and let it shine through. And then at weekend, I'm going to um, get me smouldering iron out, poke some holes in on, on the on the back, thread the cable ties through, thread it through there, and then the, then the lights will not fall off and they will be secure. So just in case you're wondering where the light's gone, um, this, she still has them on at night. Just What I'll do is I'll just put them, like there, just put them on the top there so the light still goes in. And then, um, yeah, and then at weekend when I get some time, I'm just going to put table ties, uh, cable ties through and it won't take me five minutes to do. And then just you just put it on the base, you know, just on the base of the, the lights. I'll just get it, I'll show you what I mean. Right, guys, yeah, so all I'll do is I'll just take that off and the base, I'll just put, um, just mark some dots and then burn through it with a smouldering iron. And um, I know what I'm doing. I've done things like that before. Then thread the cable ties through and then attach it inside then, like so. Because at the moment, what I do is, because I just don't trust it for falling off, I'll just leave it like that at night so it still shines through. And then, uh, like I said, at weekend, I'll be, I'll be doing that. So where's this little tight gone? Where's she gone? See what I mean? She just loves that cabin. It's amazing how, how they like these cabins, you know. I love the uh, El Mato stuff. She's got all the white KT on the on the window. I'll have to give it a wipe in a bit, clear it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think that's it, guys. She seems happy. I'm never really keen on the... Um, the white ones whether it's curry fresh or whatever because i find it gets dirtier quicker and doesn't look as nice and things like that even though it looks really nice and clean at the beginning but i do love uh how soft it is but it's the last of the uh the batch so i've had it for such a while because they're back on um, curry fresh you see so the multicolored ones as you as you've seen in the past um but sometimes I do like to change. Sometimes I switch from KT to Curfresh and Curfresh to KT. Ah, yeah. Hey, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> hey, Twinkle Toes. Speaking of Twinkle Toes, quickly before I go, this is not related, but <laughs> about two or three years ago from Poundland, um, I saw this cute, it was around Christmas time, I saw this cute elf. Um, a stuffed one, obviously. He was only a, uh, I think it was a fiver, and I got him. And I kid you not, guys, I called him Twinkle Tolls. I only had him about two weeks, and that was it. And I just had to, I got rid. I just, I just had to give him away because weird things were happening. I mean, I know this things are in this flat anyway. Obviously, weird things, but honest things were honest to God. I, it wasn't me or anything like that. I know I weren't going to do Lally and I weren't, things were disappearing and then reappearing and and he just, 
give me this creepy vibe. You know, like, uh, oh, it was creepy vibe because he had this grin on his face. And um, it was just awful. And um, in the end, I thought, oh, I've got to get rid of really Because a set of my keys went missing, and I always keep a spare set in my bag. So if I, And then one in my pocket. And then, so if I lose one set in my pocket, I've always got another set in my bag. And I've never taken them out. Always, always in a separate compartment. And I bought some new key rings. So I thought, all right, I'll change all my keys. Put them in the, and they weren't there. A, a sock went missing. I know it sounds funny. <laughs> and there was another item. There were three items all together. Two of them turned back up. The sock turned up. And the other item turned up. But the keys I never did find. I never did find. And... Um, they didn't get lost or anything. They was in this zip compartment, and the zip compartment was still shut. So it's not like um, there was a hole in it or anything like that. And if there was a hole in it, it would have fell, it fell into the main bag, but there wasn't. They completely vanished, completely vanished. Oh, yeah, the third item, which was also in my bag, because there was all there was in um, the same compartment as my keys, was my nail file cli uh, set. I'd like nail clippers, nail files, stuff like that. Completely gone. <laughs> and just it, I was just getting the most weirdest vibe of him. It just reminded me that I, I just had to tell you guys when I called her Twinkle Tolls. <laughs> just reminded me of that um, that elf that I had. And uh, <laughs> it's so funny. But I had to uh, give him away in the end. And uh, yeah. So guys, I think this is it now. Um, quite a long video so i hope you liked well it's been a mixture this video hasn't it? it's been the doing a review it's been a little bit of a cage tour at the same time for arabelle arabella and a bit of a ghosty story <laughs> yeah so guys um i've got a few a few of the other videos have already been done by the way so there's a quite a few to upload now i've done the the, the tiny Amazon all with that rosewood items that I said I was get, you know, I was going to show you. That's done, dusted. Um, I'm actually waiting in today because Archie's cage is coming. So I thought I'd do all Arabella's cage out while I'm waiting. So that's coming. That's coming before 8 o'clock tonight. So I'm not, obviously, I've not done that video yet. So that'll probably be done next week or so. And there's a couple of other videos I've done. And I've done the wag. I've done the rag, uh, wag. I can't say it, the WAG food review. So they're done. They're waiting to be uploaded. So I'll do one like a day, each day. So you've got one each day to look forward to. And yeah, guys, now where's she gone? Where has she gone? Where's the little minx gone? I think she's gone in her house. Or has she gone in a tunnel? Let's have a quick nose in a tunnel. You're in there? No. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. Bye, guys.